Hello, welcome to everyone. In this video, this is lecture number one on nanomaterials and application. Today, we want to discuss about the nanoscale system along with these things. Uh, that is the length scale in physics, then nanostructure 1D, 2D, 3D, and that is nano dot, thin film, nano wire, nano dot, then band structure and density of state of this nanomaterial, then size effect in nano system, then quantum confinement, and then the application of Schrodinger equation, etc. You can see this is the total syllabus uh, of the six semester physics on us. And today I want to discuss this uh, part one that is the nanoscale system. Okay. In upcoming session, we will be covered the synthesis of nanomaterial, then characterization, then optical property, then electron transport and application. All will be covered in the part by part. So in this part, we want to discuss about the first chapter. Okay. At the very beginning, you need to know about the length scale in physics. Actually, you know in length scale that is the SI unit, you know the meter, then centimeter, then micrometer, then nanometer, Armstrong, uh, femtometer, etc. You all know. First, we just uh, know about what is the uh, length scale effects on the physical property of material. You think about a simple experiment. Suppose this is a, a conductor or resistor through who is the current flow and if you change the current and the corresponding voltage if you measure it's uh, uh, obey the Ohm's law that is V equals to IR the graph will be linear which passing through origin now if you reduce the length scale that is the diameter of this rod uh, at a certain range the like 10 nanometer order 10 nanometer order uh, after that one you can see the current uh, nature with the voltage will be like the step function that's mean it, its path it's uh, such a narrow the electron cannot continuously flow it's slow then current increase and constant is flow constant so you can see the reduction of this uh, size reduction of the size the physical property which is linear property change into step function so this is the nanomaterial the basic definition of the nanomaterial is that the material whose size in the order of nanomaterial that is 10 to 100 nanometer and importantly the important point is that the property of this material is different from the bulk one <coughs> that is the important point remember this size is important but only size is not important okay nanometer size is important but only nanometer size is not important suppose you have a material of nanometer order but its property is similar to bulk material then you cannot say this is a nanomaterial for nanomaterial you must say that is the size of this material in the nanometer order it can be 100 nanometer or it can be 300 nanometer no problem but along with its property is different from the bulk material that is the important definition of a nano material and the structure is known as nanostructure there are three four types of structure actually available zero dimensional one dimensional two dimensional three dimensional for zero dimensional that means it's confined along all these direction all the three direction that is <coughs> Uh, uh, the particle confined in such a way that is the uh, size of this uh, material of the structure uh, in the three dimension all are the in the nanometer order that is all in the less than 100 nanometer okay so it's confined in all three direction that's why degree of freedom is zero there is no freely move along the path along no path it cannot uh, move freely so that's why the degree of freedom is zero and the wave function of this type is uh, like that you know the potential well 1d potential oil solution this is the 3d potential oil solution so this is the wave function and the corresponding energy value for example quantum zero d nanostructure example is quantum dot nano dot etc next is the one dimensional that is uh, two dimension in the nanometer order and one dimension is above the nanometer order this is free that's why degree of freedom is one confined in two direction the wave function you know, is like that and the corresponding energy value is this Example nano wire nano rod quantum wire CNT carbon nano -t. Next is two dimensional that is confined in along only one direction, two dimension in above nanometer order. So degree of freedom to confined in one direction wave function is like that. Energy value is this. Example thin film graphene. 
3D nanomaterial is uh, all is above the nano above the nanometer order that is 100 nanometer is degree of freedom field uh, 3 energy uh, wave function and this is the energy value example nano ball nano tube or multi layer balls of nano bubble bundles of nano -wire. now you can say why you call this a nanomaterial because it's all are above the nanometer order then why you call as a nanometer material because its property is different from the bulk material that's why uh, its size is not important you can conclude from that point that its size is not important important is that its properties differ from the bulk one then you can say this is a nano material right so for nano material you need to remember that's fine now the band structure and density of state uh, band structure you know for a bulk material the band gap when it reduces the size band gap actually increases and this increased band gap change the electrical and optical property so this uh, band structure is important and within the band you know there are energy levels actually the band formed due to the energy levels the energy levels uh, the number of energy levels actually uh, define whether the nature of the band that's why you need to know about the density of state density of state is nothing but the number of available allow state energy state with an energy interval with an unit volume that is the basic definition of density of state so this density of state helps you to know about the band structure and this band structure helps to know about the electrical and optical property of this material so density of state of nanomaterial is very much important and you need to derive the density of state for zero dimensional one dimensional two dimensional three dimensional nanostructure so the basic definition of density of state written here the number of allowed state within energy interval within unit volume is known as density of state that is the dn by d by dv for three dimensional that is the bulk material if you wants to find out the density of state the wave function is like that and the corresponding energy value is that actually 3d confined this wave function is <coughs> three dimensional confined element <coughs> right so the wave function is like that and the energy value is this one case value so if you consider in case space that is uh, in a small volume that is uh, 4 pi k square dk and a uh, volume of a single state need to pi by lx pi by lx pi by lx so pi q by lx by lx so number of state within in this cell in within this cell the number of uh, state will be like that and uh, energy converted into the k value so k change into energy and you need to multiply two due to uh, spin of a single uh, single electron and uh, divided by eight for eight fold degeneracy because you know uh, with a certain energy value with a k value there is a possibility of eight because this is two this is two this is two there is eight octane and for eight octane this total k value is same but kx ky kz <coughs> from different eight uh, values that's why this is eight fold degeneracy that's why you need to uh, divide it by eight so finally you obtain this uh, density of state and uh, number of state so if you divide it by energy interval and volume will we get density of state this is 3d material and you can see this is the proportional to root e for 2d material uh, 1k is uh, vanished two dimensionally confined so you need to take a circular one so 2 pi k dk and for a single uh, state area is required pi by lx into pi by ly that is pi square by lx ly so number of state within this ring is divided this one and change the uh, k into energy and multiply two due to spin and four fold because you can see for a particular k value there is four possible value of kx and ky so finally you will be obtain this expression so density of state of 2d material is like that okay and for 1d material this is along the line uh, so length of unit is pi by lx and so within the small length is like that dk by this one multiply 
2 d to spin and for degeneracy two fold degeneracy multiplied by two. so finally 1d is like that so you can see for 2d this is independent of energy and for 1d this is the uh, energy to the power minus half is the variation okay for uh, 0d material this is will be delta function so in uh, in a single graph you can see that is the <coughs> For this 3D density of state will be like that for 2D and this is for 1D and this is for 0. Size effect in nanostructure nanosystem that means when the size of this material is reduced to nanostructure then the property will be changed and this can be <coughs> used in different physical phenomena or physical structure. Uh, for example you can say this is a bulk and this is a nanostructure. So, <coughs> this uh, reduction of this size actually uh, increase the imperfection, triple junction, etc. And this quantum effect, the Bogli wavelength will be like that, overlap the characteristics physical. So, change the physical property of this material. For example, response time increases for miniature of simple pendulum. That is, the time period of this pendulum is like that. If you take this example, L equals to 1 meter, uh, time period is 2 seconds if L equals to 1 micrometer time period 2 milliseconds or L equals to 10 nanometer uh, time period 0 0.2 milliseconds so reduction size reduce the time period and so increase the response time uh, thermal conduct uh, conductivity is like that if you to body hot and cold and if you consider the heat flow is like that and if you comparing with this <coughs> material uh, connected air capacity so finally we get these things and here the important thing is this tau that is the time thermal time constant and it's uh, proportional to l if you reduce the size this tau will be reduced and this record the resulting bands which is helping used in the AFMT receptor so reduction of the uh, size of the material it was the nanomaterial that is is uh, this Phenomena actually uh, super hardness, reactivity, and super -hardness. So, these all are actually happen due to the reduction of the quantum confinement. Is that that is the particle confined in a direction? If three confinement is uh, confined in all the three directions, okay. And <coughs> length scale of the confinement is like that of the order of like excited you know that is the electron hole pair and confinement is confined the motion randomly in a within a region okay for weak confinement uh, this r is very much greater than so r excited r excited is the value of like that okay moderate is compared to this one and strong is very much better. Application of Schrodinger equation uh, infinite potential well, potential step, potential ball. You already know about these things in uh, in quantum mechanics that is for potential well region B is 0 here and this are infinite and this two ring region that is the <coughs> Schrodinger equation in region 2 you write and you can say the energy value and the wave function and normalized condition gives you the weapons like that for uh, potential step if you consider this step Schrodinger equation into region uh, for case one e is greater than e naught so you will be uh, obtain this uh, to equation and the corresponding solution and this boundary condition gives you this so incident wave function reflected transmitted so the probability current density can be obtained using this relation it's like that like that like that transmission coefficient is the uh, transmitted to current density by incident uh, is these things and reflection coefficient is <coughs> this thing. so finally uh, uh, finally uh, if you add the transmission and reflection coefficient which is one energy consumption so uh, k greater than k to the amplitude of transmitted is greater than the incident so you just uh, know about this thing for case 2 where this is less than that one uh, so 
k2 square gives you so the solution finally you obtain and i think you can go through this uh, note you can easily understand what actually says uh, this is actually quantum mechanics part okay for potential box the variation will be like that if you consider uh, case one where energy is less than v0 in three region these are the equation and the corresponding solution using boundary condition obtain this uh, constant and this is the current density their ratio transmission coefficient reflection coefficient is like that for case 2 is greater than e naught where these similar things will be obtained and finally you obtain the r plus to this one so i think you can uh, go through this quantum mechanical part by uh, through this okay uh, potential box is nothing but trapped in all three dimension is this so <clears throat> just tracking this uh, trap that is a uh, for bulk material there is no confinement and uh, three degree of freedom actually quantum well one confinement two degree of freedom quantum well two confinement one degree of freedom quantum dot three confinement zero degree of freedom. okay so that's it this is the question based on this uh, part in the previous year you just solve this question i think you can do that otherwise uh, there is another playlist for previous year solution you can go to this to watch the solution of this question okay so that's it for today this is all about me this is my contact details this is my youtube channel details so take care we'll meet in the next video